going on everybody? It is Louie here again bringing you guys some more Drive Club back to the channel. And today I'm just going to play some random gameplay like I always, well not, not like I always do, but I'm just going to play uh, online again, but what am I doing? But this is it's going to be me talking about uh, the new Need for Speed and uh, yeah, pretty much about the new Need for Speed and what my thoughts are on it. And why I'm excited for it. But yeah, let's just uh, get into a race here first. And then I can go ahead and start rambling on about this. So, hope you enjoy. Man, one, do one thing I do have to say is that I turned the music off while I'm recording. Because I'm putting my own music over this. Well, not my own, but some other type of music over this. And it sucks not having anything playing in the background. But yeah, pretty much. And I think we're racing in Japan, man. Oh my god, I wish I had the car pack so I could drive with the GTR, man. But yeah, as I was saying, man, I'm I'm really excited about the new Need for Speed. Basically because I grew up playing... I grew up on Need for Speed on the Underground series, man. I remember back, I think Underground, the first Underground came out in like 2003, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But man, I remember spending countless, oh my God. I remember spending countless hours just playing that game, and I would go back to it every single day, like, man, what I, I just love that game because of the level of customization that they gave you, like, that you had, you can freaking customize everything from bumpers, to spoilers to the color of your of your uh like the pipes on your engines and whatnot man i think that was introduced in the second one but i'm not sure if it was available in the first one. Oh man um but yeah man and then when underground 2 came and they had the whole open world aspect of it it just made it even more better and the the freaking soundtrack my god it just it just captured the whole night scene so good, like how it used to be back then, because I used to, man, back then I was, what, like 10 years old, and freaking a 10 year old, would you, uh, I don't even know what I'm rambling about, but what I'm trying to say is that, oh my god, my eyes itching. Can you imagine a 10 year old going to a car meet? A 10 year old. Yes, I used to go because my brother was into the whole car scene, into the whole car Oh my god, this is what happened to him. Oh man. My brother used to be into the whole car culture thing, and I, I didn't go to like, you know, whenever it got super big, but he would take me to the races, you know. You would have your Dodge Vipers versus your, your Chargers. Your Chargers the Chargers weren't even that, that back, ah, weren't even there back then. Oh god, let's get the races over. I haven't been to a car meet man since then, since that time, since when my brother was really into it, but as far as I can tell, the car culture is still stayed pretty much the same as it was back then. Like, you used to have your, you know, your your over-the-top customizations on cars, like painted rims, some like freaking, uh, like radical as, uh, um, like spoilers on cars, the camber. On, on the the camber on the rims for some of the cars, man, it's still way over the top, and I still feel it still ha captures that essence of like back to the, the car, how the car culture used to be then. And like I said, you know, I I haven't been to a car meet since back then, since when my brother used to go, because honestly, he's the one that knew most about that stuff. Man. But anyways, I just want to say that I'm really excited, genuinely excited for this new Need for Speed game because. Oh man, let's see if we can pass him later. Yes. Because... Because I feel like it captures the... The um, the essence of what the car scene is like right now. You know? Oh my god. Like, you take a look at how... Some of these supercars, like the Ferrari 458... Or the Lambos, they have... They get modified now. Like you have your Liberty Walk uh, kits, you know, you can slap them on there, and they look fucking amazing. At least in my opinion. I know that some to some people, those might be, you know, oh my god, you ruined the car. Why do you spend so much money, you know, on a freaking car if you're gonna ruin it? But to each their own. If they buy it and they want to do whatever they want to the car, that's their car, man. As far as I'm concerned. But yeah, it seems like you're gonna be able to do that in this new Need for Speed game, and that's really what excites me about it because. 
it'll have, you know, at least from what I saw in the trailer, it'll have, you know, your, um, what do I remember? You're, you're like, oh God, we're losing, okay, we're losing focus. But um, you have your, um, you know, your newer Mustangs, you have your uh, 240Xs, and I can't remember what else I saw in the trailer. Oh yeah, and I saw, okay, let's take this corner. I saw a Lambo in there, so I'm guessing we're gonna have tuner cars, and we're gonna have a couple of supercars here and there, like like a I can see like a like a Gallardo, uh, a Lamborghini Gallardo in there, and uh, no, it was a Huracan that I saw in there, but I'm hoping that we have muscle cars in the game. I know we have, you know, like I consider the Mustang to be a muscle car because you know American muscle. But I'm hoping to see like a Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, cars like that, or maybe some old like Chevelles or a '68 Fastback. You know, I'm I, I'm probably wishing for, for for a lot, but I'm hoping we have those kinds of games, and that's genuinely the main reason why I'm excited because it brings back. I've been wanting this like the remake, not remake, but the sequel to Underground 2, like many people for like the longest time, and. And we finally get that. after carbon. Everybody wanted a new, uh, not after carbon, but underground. As I was saying, underground is something that everybody, you know, enjoyed. And we just wanted it. We wanted a sequel to, un to for underground three, but we never really got it. And ever since then, man, every uh, the Need for Speed community has been wanting this new Need for Speed. And like I said, finally we're getting it. Well, yeah, it feels like I'm just rambling on right now, but, oh god, oh god. Yeah, it feels like I'm just rambling I just wanted to, you know, talk about, you know, my excitement about why I'm excited for the new Need for Speed, and I honestly can't wait. I know I've said that a lot in this video, but I honestly can't wait, man, and it seems like it's taking forever, but I know, I know it'll be well worth it, oh god. But, man, as, as I'm recording this... Some new Need for Speed news came out that I want to go ahead and, and you know, watch the video because Black, Black Panther, he made a he made a video just like right before I started recording this and I'm like, oh, should I watch it or not? But I think I'll just wait after I get through recording this video and I'll, and then I'll talk about it in the next video probably. Oh God. Oh, we didn't get the corner penalty there. But, um, yeah. But yeah, it seems like, I hope since it's an EA game, man, that we don't get splashed with a bunch, with a bunch of de paid DLC, because that, that right there is like the cancer of video games, man. Those companies who, who you know, oh god. Let me just get through this real quick. Those companies who just, you know, that's their philosophy, you know, trying to earn money through freaking DLC. Like, take a look, for example, let me, let me get a good example of, like, no, 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 never mind. I'm not talking about that right now. <laughs> We're talking about Need for Speed right now. Oh, God. And, but yeah, man, the, the graphics look really awesome. Now, I'm just hoping that... I'm just hoping that we don't... You know, my mic just fell. Oh, God, my mic just fell. My mic just fell, so I just had to reset everything. Oh my god, no, my mic just fell, damn it. Oh god. Now we gotta play the catch up game. My mic just fell, <laughs> and it sucks because I have to use the Apple headphones and they just fell, but I don't know what I was having on about. Anyways, I, I think I'm just gonna uh, end the video here, and yeah, because I feel like I rambled on a little bit too much, but yeah, anyways. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video about my about why I'm excited about the new Need for Speed. Hit oh my god, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I really appreciate any each and every one of you who just listened throughout the whole video. And here's to having a great Need for Speed this year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.